like some, something that I get tagged about a lot on Twitter uh, is like, oh, like look at all this tether movement. Like this means that someone's minting tether in order to buy Bitcoin. Uh, but it's actually just sort of like often the opposite, uh, it turns out, uh, because the only reason anyone's buying, like the, the, the only time anyone ever mints a lot of tether uh, is when tether is trading rich uh, and tether ends up trading rich when someone's selling Bitcoin against tether. Uh, and that's like the only thing that's going on there. Like if when Alameda mints tether to take advantage of that ARB, we're generally going to have to also sell Bitcoin in order to generate dollars to pay for the tether. Uh, so it, turn, it, it ends up being like a delta neutral thing. Uh, and yeah, so like people are very uh, excited about making like bad interpretations of on-chain data uh, in a way that makes, makes me they basically think that most almost but most people should just not even ever think about it. People also just completely miss that they mostly print tethers ahead of time and and then like add them to the treasury and then from the treasury there's the redemption aspect um, that people like completely gloss over. Uh, and so when there's a large tether print that's kind of in anticipation of future market demand, uh, people automatically assume that something is happening. On the other side, uh, like, yeah, I, I, I used to build these tagging engines for the wallets. Like, they all disagree with each other. They're, like, none of them are consistent. It just completely depends on, like, your initial seed source. And, and um, like, there's a lot of, like, low quality information circulating around on that side, um, especially around, like, Bitcoin, where, where uh, you know, just having like one address can mean the difference between like merging two clusters and, and that can kind of like spiral out um, and, and lead to just like completely different results. Uh, I think a really good example of this one was when there was the whole like drama around uh, flows from BlockFi to Gemini a few months ago. Um, in reality, Gemini is just what BlockFi uses as like the backend for, for their custody. Uh, and people were assumed that there was like a, a large market uh movement and, and, and uh, I, I think there was a lot of a lot of hate flowing around around something that was just like a very silly simple misinterpretation